Is there anybody that haunts this chair? Whoa, what the frick? Do you not like it when people sit here? That looks like a mausoleum. Dude, you can go inside. Is there somebody around me? <gasps> oh my god. If this chair is indeed cursed, push me off. I am currently at the Union Cemetery, completely by myself. This is where there is a mourning chair nicknamed the Devil's Chair. Why do they call it the Devil's Chair, you ask? Well, that's what we're gonna find out in this video. If you are new here, I am the Midwest Ghost Hunter and I investigate cemeteries, old hospitals, all kinds of haunted places all across the Midwest. The only difference between me and other ghost hunters is I do it completely alone because, well, I'm still trying to figure that out. But if you are new here, consider subscribing so that you can stay tuned with all of my ghost hunts and watch me run away scared from ghosts as I tend to like to do. However, tonight, I am not going to run. I don't care what happens. Also, be sure to like the video if you enjoy it and comment your thoughts on anything that goes down tonight. All right, well, let's go ahead and find this devil's chair and maybe have a seat. At the Union Cemetery, there lies a mourning chair that is said to be cursed. It is said that anyone who dares sit in the chair will be plagued with misfortune and even death. Alright, we've got a K2 meter right here. I'm gonna see if this chair will give off any strange readings. Hello? Is there anybody that haunts this chair? I hear that people call this the devil's chair. Why do they call it the devil's chair? If there's a spirit that haunts this chair, could you sit down at this chair? Whoa. <laughs> what the frick? Dude, this thing just straight up just got knocked over. Look at that. Dude, that was strange. I don't know though. I feel like there might have been the wind. If you just knocked that K2 meter over, I'm gonna dare you to do it again. Do that once more. On the count of three. One, two, three. I don't know, that was pretty strange, but I've got a strong feeling it was probably the wind. I think I felt a gust of wind when that happened. So, that'd be my guess, because it is very windy out here. But I'm gonna watch very closely on the footage on here because I have my camera pointed at it. So, I don't know. Upon further review, I would conclude that this phenomena was indeed caused by the wind. All right, now I know what you guys are thinking. Ian, why aren't you sitting in the chair? That's that's what you're supposed to do. Well, I'm going to. I'm going to sit in the chair at 3 a.m. Witching hour, devil's hour, whatever you want to call it. I figure it's fitting to sit in the devil's chair at the devil's hour. Makes sense to me. 
hopefully uh, I don't regret it. <laughs> All right, so I've got a camera left on the devil's chair. And in the meantime, I'm actually going to explore this cemetery because this place is actually pretty massive. There's quite a bit to explore. And well, I think any cemetery really has the possibility of being haunted. So let's see if any spirits will communicate with me tonight. I'm in need of some advice. See, there's a chair here called the devil's chair. And I'm in need of some advice from somebody because I'm debating on whether or not to sit in it. John? What do you think? Should I sit in the devil's chair? Do you think it's a good idea? How about you, Amy? Amy, do you think it's a good idea for me to sit at the devil's chair? I hear those who sit there get bad luck. Calling out to any spirits in this cemetery. I need your advice. Should I sit in the devil's chair? If there's anyone here with me, could you say your name? Who are you? Why is this chair cursed? I almost look like glowing eyes. That's kind of freaky. That's just the tower. Well, earlier today, I noticed this big building here. And it looks like a mausoleum. So I just kind of want to take a look at this place. Yeah, you see that? The stained glass. I bet it's a mausoleum. Ooh. Hello? Is anyone in here? I'm pretty sure it's locked. You can go inside. No freaking way. Most of the time, these things are locked. Whoa. Okay, I'm pretty sure that was the wind. The door kind of rattled a little bit. at night. Hello? If there's anyone in this mausoleum with me, could you give me a sign? Can you make a sound? Okay, I heard something. 
Hello? If that was you, could you do that again? Is there anyone, buddy, that's behind me? It just got suddenly freezing cold in here. Is there somebody around me? Could you speak into this red light? Tell me, should I sit in the devil's chair? Oh my god! Holy shit! Okay, okay. This is the first piece of evidence that I capture that is unexplainable. A male disembodied whisper seems to warn me not to sit in the chair. Could you speak again, whoever you are? Oh, oh, oh my god, that really spooked me. Dude, it just straight up said no. No, I should not sit in the chair. Dude, I don't know if this is a good idea. I mean, even the spirit is warning me. Thank you for communicating. Is there anything else you'd like to say? What? Oh, jeez, I'm getting creeped out. There is no question that I was not alone in this mausoleum, as this disembodied whisper again makes itself known. I cannot make out what is being said. Okay, so I checked the time and it is getting close to witching hour. I am going to leave my camera. To film in there, I'm gonna leave an EVP behind because I want to see if any more activity occurs in there. I still can't believe this place is unlocked. Holy moly. Not only that, I got some responses. A warning of, of all things. All right, guys, no more putting off the inevitable. It is officially devil's hour. Now it's time to sit in the devil's chair. Whew, here goes nothing. This chair is really cold. Okay. I'm sitting in the devil's chair. What happens now? That's the wind. Oh, that sounded really creepy. Well, so far so good. If there's a spirit that haunts this chair, I've got a microphone in my hand. It'll record your voice. Could you speak into this microphone? 
Why are you causing people bad luck? Do you not like it when people sit here? If this chair is indeed cursed, push me off. Push me off this chair. There's that sound again. Is that you? Are you making that sound? Well, so far, it's pretty quiet. There was a little bit of a weird sound with the wind, but I think it was just the wind. Well, so far, so... Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Dude. Dude, I just freaking tripped. What the frick? Oh, my God. That can't be a coincidence. Right after I just got up off the chair, and I just tripped. It's not really paranormal. I felt something on the ground, like twisting my ankle a little bit. Oh my god. I don't know if I like that. Uh, maybe there's something to this curse. Am I cursed with bad luck now? Is that why I just tripped? That is weird timing, I'm not gonna lie. It is indeed a spooky coincidence that I tripped over shortly after sitting in a chair that is said to be cursed. However, it is not paranormal. Like I said, not necessarily paranormal, but geez. Got the heebie jeebies now. Oh my god. Especially after that voice from earlier with the mausoleum. Dude, it's like straight up warning me not to sit in there. It's just a chair though. It's just a morning chair. Like, what could be so bad about it? Weird coincidences aside, I'm gonna try to snap some photos, see if any anomalies appear near this chair. This is your chance to show yourself. Show me what you look like. Whoever you are. Alright, well, it's pretty late here at uh, the Union Cemetery. Uh, the chair, the devil's chair, has been pretty quiet, actually. I haven't experienced anything except for that, I mean, that weird little coincidence. But, I mean, it's not really paranormal, it's just coincidence. But, I don't know. That EVP I got in that mausoleum is still giving me chills. Holy moly, that was like a straight up warning telling me not to sit in that chair. I don't know if it was just the spirit was messing with me or what, but I'm sure, you know, I'm not the first person to try this. So maybe the spirits here are pretty familiar with this little uh, devil's chair business. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it, comment your thoughts on everything that happened tonight. There was quite a few weird things that happened. And be sure to subscribe so you can stay tuned with all of my ghost hunts. I am the Midwest Ghost Hunter and I hope to see you on the next one.